thejbeans.net. Labadi is a private resort owned by Royal Caribbean International that is located on the northern coast of Haiti. The resort area is fenced off from the surrounding area and cruise passengers are not allowed to venture beyond the resort. Before you leave your ship, it can be helpful to generally locate each area of Labadi from the top of your ship. Buccaneers Bay is near the entrance. Dragon's Plaza is to the left or west. Adrenaline Beach is on the north coast and stretches to the east. Town Square is to the right or east. Nellie's Beach and Columbus Cove are adjacent to each other on the east side of the south coast. The Barefoot Beach Club, which is reserved for Grand Suites passengers or above, is also on the south coast. All of the areas have restrooms. And trams are available with stops at or near all the areas except Buccaneers Bay. The closest tram station to the entrance is at Dragon's Plaza. After you leave your ship, you'll walk a short distance along the dock to Labadee's entrance. The dock is a great spot to get a photo with your ship in the background. And it's also where you'll find the complimentary boat that can take you to Columbus Cove and Nellie's Beach. Along the walk to the entrance, you'll be able to see how rocky the water can be. We recommend packing some water shoes to protect your feet. Buccaneers Bay is located just inside the entrance to Labadee and is the location of the Labadee sign, which is an extremely popular photo op with your ship in the background. If it's too popular when you arrive, wait until later in the day when it's not as popular. This area is also where you book wave jet tours, parasailing, coastal adventures, and more. Take note that many payments in the resort, including excursions and tours, can only be completed with your Sea Pass card. Dragon's Plaza is located just past Buccaneers Bay and features Dragon's Cafe, which is one of the locations for Labadee's complimentary lunch. You'll also find the sign up for the Dragon's Flightline Zipline in this area. The Zipline starts beyond Adrenaline Beach and ends at Dragon's Plaza for a total length of over 2,600 feet. The beach area at Dragon's Plaza is a great opportunity to watch zip liners reach speeds over 40 miles per hour and then come to a very quick stop at the end. The short hilly path to Dragon's Lookout Point provides nice views of the zip line. Adrenaline Beach, the occasional sea creature, and the ocean. The lookout at the end of the path also has some nice views, as well as benches for sitting and an opportunity to hear the dragon's breath blowhole. Swimming is not permitted in the Dragon's Plaza area due to the extreme rocky conditions. However, Adrenaline Beach is located nearby. The swimming area features a crescent-shaped shoreline, and the swim-up Adrenaline Floating Bar is located in the water. Passengers seem to prefer that bar to the nearby schooner bar during our visit. Everywhere we look, there were plenty of loungers available in this area during our visit, and there were also clamshells available for an additional fee, with Sea Pass only payment. In addition to the beach area, Adrenaline Beach also features Cafe Labadee, which serves the complimentary lunch and has a covered picnic bench area available. Shaded beach beds, which were available for an additional fee. 
bocce ball, and basketball courts at the easternmost end of the beach. And the Dragon's Tail Coaster, which can reach speeds of 30 miles per hour. Parts of the coaster are visible in the hillside, along with the starting point of the zip line. You can purchase a one-time ride or an all-day pass for the coaster using your sea pass. During our visit, there was no more than a 5 to 10 minute wait for each ride. Be aware that there is not a specific Adrenaline Beach tram station, but most of the beach area is easily accessed from the Town Square tram station. The Town Square area of Lobbany features many shops that are run by merchants authorized by Royal Caribbean. There are a few shops near the tram station, including the Artisans Market Building, and many more shops nearby in the Artisans Village, along a path that leads to Columbus Cove. The Town Square area also features the Adventure Ocean Oasis for Kids, which is located pretty much in the center of the resort, near the beach volleyball court. And a hair braiding station with several vendors and a helpful pricing sign. Located on the southern coast of Lobbity, Nellie's Beach seemed more crowded than Adrenaline Beach during our visit, probably because the beach's shoreline is much smaller and the loungers on the beach were arranged closer together. However, there were still many loungers available well into the afternoon, just like at Adrenaline Beach. In addition to the beach area and a good view of your ship, Nellie's Beach also features thatched roof cabanas located near the water, which are available for an additional fee, and Nellie's Tavern, which serves up drinks for an additional fee, and is listed as part of Town Square on the Lobbity map. Also on the southern coast of Lobbity, and located just a short walk from the easternmost side of Nellie's Beach, is Columbus Cove, which provides one of the best views of your ship. The beach is larger than Nellie's Beach and seemed a bit less crowded during our visit. Like the other beaches, there were plenty of loungers available well into the afternoon during our visit. In addition to all the free fun at Columbus Cove, there are several activities available for an additional fee, including the Aqua Park, Wave Jet Tours, the Dragon Splash Water Slide, and more. The Columbus Cove area also features the Columbus Cove Cafe, which serves the complimentary lunch and has a covered picnic bench area available. Covered cabanas, which are available for an additional fee. And the dock for the complimentary boat that can take you back to the cruise ship stock. The Barefoot Beach Club, which is also on the southern coast and is only available for Grand Suites passengers and above, is similar in size to Nellie's Beach and also provides free loungers. Cabanas and spa treatments from the Ocean View Spa are available for an additional fee. The large restrooms located near the Barefoot Tram Station are available for all guests and feature several outdoor showers for rinsing off after a fun day at the beach. Finally, a note about the complimentary lunch served in Lobbity. Signage throughout the resort indicated the lunch is served from 11.30 in the morning until 1.30 in the afternoon. During our visit, the lunch featured burgers, hot dogs, barbecue chicken and ribs, sides, desserts, fruit, and more.